When using a projector, there are three main things to remember. They are connectors, settings, and usage. Firstly, there is a range of uh, different connectors which may be or may not be available on either your projector or your laptop. The first is the HDMI cable, the second is a VGA cable, and finally an Apple adapter for the VGA cable. While many old projectors only have VGA and a few other inputs such as composite, most new projectors have at least an HDMI connector. New laptops also have the same, but many new laptops have not got a VGA connector at all. This means if your projector does not have HDMI, they cannot work together. So this is the HDMI. This is the VGA, also known as SVGA or XGA, which are simply different resolutions of VGA. This is the Apple adapter. Firstly, I highly recommend that you only purchase a genuine Apple adapter. I in no way am affiliated with Apple and in no way make any money from saying this, but I've used the generic and the original and the generic can be filled with compatibility problems. The Apple adapter is plug and play, whereas the generic requires major technical setup and even then it may not work at all. And I've had that on occasion where it just does not function at all, no matter what you do. So uh, now the laptop settings are very important. Most of the time, any technical problems are in fact not projector problems, but laptop problems. A projector is simply like another monitor screen. It is not able to change settings. Only your laptop can do that. The laptop can detect a projector and change settings as a result, or you can change the settings manually. Now, the easiest way to make sure all goes well is to have the projector on first and then connect the laptop and only then switch the laptop on. The booting up laptop can then detect the projector. Another way around is to use the function key. Now by holding down the function key at the same time as pressing the associated key, you can change the laptop video output. This can be either as a clone, a presentation or no signal at all. And make sure you find the right key. It normally has some sort of image depicting a screen or a square of some sort. Finally, ensure that you always switch off the projector correctly. Don't just pull the plug. Go through the shutdown sequence, which is often two presses of the power button and wait for the projector to be off before pulling the plug or you may be saying goodbye to your globe. So enjoy your use of projectors and you are welcome to comment on this video.